Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Imperial Assault Week continues here on What's Inside and uh, today we're looking at Star Wars Imperial Assault Return to Hoth Expansion. This is of course by Fantasy Flight, seal of quality, and um, is of course for the Imperial Assault game. You will need the core Imperial Assault box to play this. Uh, but it's got a Wampa, so obviously you should do it. Now, if that Wampa had a lightsaber, I would have bought three of these. But this is my buddy Wyatt's. He's nice enough to let me open uh, a bunch of his stuff. And uh, that's why we've got all these episodes. And I'm sorry about the release schedule of releasing so many at one time. But I want to get them out as quick as possible so that we can get back to um, some other stuff. And we're not doing like an entire month of Imperial Assault. So I apologize for releasing so many videos so quickly, but it needed done. All right, let's get into this because this is why you're here. This requires the Imperial Assault core game to play, as it says right there in big red box. Now inside you get 16 plastic minis, which is pretty cool. Three hero figures, six snow trooper figures, four HK assassin droid figures, two Wampa figures, one SC2M repulsor tank figure, 17 deployment cards, 6 agenda cards, 8 mission cards, 3 side mission cards, 4 threat mission cards, 11 reward cards, 4 supply cards, 9 item cards, 4 skirmish mission cards, 28 hero class cards, 18 imperial class cards, 9 mission, I'm sorry, 9 command cards, 3 hero sheets, 4 condition cards, 37 map tiles, 5 condition tokens, two recon tokens, five ally and villain tokens, 14 damage tokens, 13 strain tokens, eight ID tokens, 24 ID stickers, one skirmish map sheet, one rule book. That is a lot in such a small but very heavy box. Uh, this is aimed at ages 14 and up, two to five players, one to two hours. So let's tear open this and see what we got. Let's actually look at all this cool stuff. I know uh, there are figures that you can buy from the ally packs uh, or, or the villain packs that do use the tiles from this one. Uh, specifically, um, General Sorin and Princess Leia come to mind. I'm sure there's others, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, this is by Fantasy Flight, so you can expect a, a level of decent quality. Uh, if not high quality. The box itself is actually really good cardboard. Alright, there's a little advertisement. Fantasy Flight has not done a Star Wars game that disappoints me yet. They might at some point, but even though I didn't like X-Wing too much, it's still not a bad game. Um, it, but it's just not my preference. So, nice catalog, thick, full of various games they have, including the roleplay game. And various other board games like Arkham Horror, which you really should buy if you don't have it. That's a great game. Uh, Mansions of Madness was a lot of fun too, but that's a whole other video. So let's look at Return to Hoth. Here's the rule book, nice and thick. On the back we've got um, the campaign log. Um, so there's quite a lot to do here. And they do give you permission to photocopy this for uh, reference so you don't have to keep scribbling on this. And then you can play the campaign multiple times with different characters and do lots of cool stuff. Uh, the rule book is in color and has uh, all the map layouts and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to get too into this because um, I don't want people complaining in the comments about revealing secrets or whatever. But the art in this game is really, really good. I'm really impressed with the art. Uh, a lot of look, like painting looking things that would actually make really cool posters. So uh, be aware of that. It does have some really cool stuff. Here's a skirmish map sheet of Echo Base. Um, it's got all the tiles listed and it uses only one tile from the original game, which is 36A it looks like. Or B, 36B. I can't read upside down. On the other side, there is the Hoth Battlefield, which is huge. Um, this uses several tiles from both sets. So, uh, yeah, that one will take a while. Uh, although this is on pretty good paper, it will crumple easily. It is just, you know, glossy paper. 
So be careful with that so it doesn't get screwed up. All right, then we've got a sticker sheet here. So don't lose that, you'll need it. And then we've got our tiles, which are all sealed up here. And then we've got some plastic bags. There's our cards. There's some big cards. And there's our little cards. And then it's got the insert here. Let's see if there's anything hiding underneath. Sometimes there are. Uh, nope, just checking. You don't want to accidentally throw your box away, but when you combine everything into one big tub and find out later that there was something tucked under there that was a secret reward or something. So I always keep my boxes. I know some people don't, but I'm a bit of a completionist from my comic collecting days. So... All right, let's look at the tiles first before we get into the cards and minis. Those are going to take a while. This will probably be a long episode, so I apologize for that. A lot of people break episodes down into two or three parts. That requires a lot more work than I'm willing to do most of the time. So you just get a long episode. And if the episode's too long, there'll probably be a commercial in the middle. But yeah, I'm usually too lazy for that even. So here we have a whole bunch of tiles. Uh, this is... SWI19A104 according to the corner. The tiles are nice and thick. Um, real quality material. And uh, this one has, uh, I don't know if you want me to read the tiles. There's three 20As, uh, 5A, uh, 10A, 2A, and a bunch of tokens. So on the back is of course the B-side. So, uh, really nice quality, good art. Um, pretty happy about that. Alright, here's the other sheet. This is uh, sheet 204. So, um, yeah, I, I like the, the way it's laid out. It's really nice. So, it looks pretty cool. I'm trying not to get a glare on there, but... My lighting setup's kind of crap, so... Um, my brother had one of these toys when we were kids. It was cool. I always wanted one to get one. Right, there's a crash speeder bike on this one. This is uh, three of four. And this one has uh, several tiles on it. These are all smaller ones. Uh, crash speeder bike over here. Bones and stuff in the... This looks like a cave. And on the back... Some hallways, uh, corners, looks pretty cool. Um, good quality stuff, really. All right, and here's a bunch of little tokens and some smaller map pieces. Uh, we got Princess Leia, some Hoth troopers, Dengar's on here, and so is Soren. So Dengar must have a mission on this one too that you can do. Um, I always recommend. Yeah, you know, these are cool to have and all, but the the ally packs are actually really good and. Even though they add a little bit of cost to the game, it is nice to have the actual mini, plus they have side missions that use these tiles, so you'll get more playability out of this if you do buy those. And I wish Fantasy Flight was paying me to do, say that or giving me free stuff, uh, but they do make really good stuff, and th there is value in getting the ally packs. Um, you get the extra cards especially, and some of those are really good. And then the extra missions, which is what I would want, you know, extra play value. So here's the back of it. Uh, looks good. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's get that out of the way and look at these minis. We'll do the minis first and then the cards. Alright, the vehicle comes in pieces, so it does snap together. Thankfully, no glue. I'm not big on the modeling aspect of miniatures games, I just want to play the game. But a lot of people are big on that, so if you're really set on assembling things, then uh, you know, you'll have to dig out the old Star Wars miniatures game from West End Games, or uh, play Warhammer, because this is more of a quick assembly thing where things just snap on and you can get right into the game. 
Whereas uh, people that want to play with plastic minis um, and customize them, this really isn't going to be for you. Oh, there's a little driver guy. Uh, this one does have the little driver guy, which would easily be missing. So be sure and check for that if you're buying this used. Um, we got some snow troopers, which look really cool, actually. Yeah, there's there's one of the assassin droid guys. Looks pretty cool. You get a couple of them. Uh, four of them, I think it said. Yeah. Looks like there's about, I think I said six snow troopers. The Wampa looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, a little more detailed than I expected. And then there's the three rebel guys. Yeah, they look good, too. Um, the calamari guy looks pretty cool. Yeah, minis look good. Nice, solid, like usual, like you'd expect from Fantasy Flight. They, they don't cheap too much on the quality, which I really like about them. These are good quality minis that will hold up over time, which I, I like that a lot. And I especially like the quick assembly on the vehicles. You just pop them together. This is a nice, solid piece, too, um, which they could have gone real cheap on, but it's actually pretty good molded plastic. So you're getting your value for your dollar here. Uh, which I really like because I'm cheap and I don't like wasting money. Well, I do like wasting money, but just not on stuff that's going to massively disappoint me later. So, figures look good. Let's get those back in the bag here and get to the cards. Because that's, uh, that's the part that really can make or break the game, I think. Um, like I said, minis look great. Real impressed with that. They could have been a lot junkier. Let's look at our big character cards here first. As always, uh, be careful when taking these out of these plastic bags because you could really screw up the edges of the cards. And considering the cost of these, you really don't want to do that. All right, we have MH19 Loyal Medic, Health of 4, Endurance 4, Speed 4, Defense of 1 Black Die, uh, Fisty Punch of 1 Blue, a uh, little eyeball thing. I haven't played this game, so I don't know what these mean. Eyeball thing of one blue and one green. Uh, the um, looks, looks like a droid hand. Uh, I assume that's an attack. Um, droid hand thingy of uh, one blue, one green, one yellow. Medical loadout. Uh, exhaust and ex exhaustion. Search the supply deck for a medical card and claim that card, then shuffle the supply deck. Mechanical, you cannot be affected by abilities on medical cards. Ready for service at the end of your activation. If you do not perform an attack, you become focused. All right, in the back of the card, where he's wounded or whatever. Um, health of 12, endurance 3, speed 3, defense 1, black die. Punch of 1, red die. Uh, eyeball thing of 1, blue and 1, red. And a little robot claw of one blue, one red, and one green. So he looks pretty good. Uh, Loku Canolo, uh, fish guy, uh, deadly marksman. Health 10, endurance 5, speed 5, defense of one white dice. Uh, punchy punchy of one blue. Eyeball thing of blue, green, and yellow. And... Robot Claw of uh, 1 Blue. 2 Exhaustion. Set your sights. Use at the start or end of your activation to place one recon token on a hostile figure in your line of sight. While you or a friendly figure is attacking a figure with a recon token, apply plus 1 damage to the attack results. Clear Minded. While attacking, apply plus 2 accuracy to the attack results. Let's look at his Wounded Stage. We've got health of 10, endurance 4, speed 4, defense of 1, white dice. Punchy punchy of 1 red, eyeball thing of 1 blue, 1 red, 1 green, and robot claw of 1 red. Set your sight to exhaustion, use at the start or end of your activation to place 1 recon token on a hostile figure in your line of sight. While you or a friendly figure is attacking a figure with a recon token, apply plus one 
damage to the attack results. No second ability then. Verna Talos, Cunning Operative. Uh, health of 12, Endurance 5, Speed 4, Defense 1, Black Die. Punch of uh, 1, Blue, 1, Green. Eyeball, 1, Green, 1, Blue. And Robot Claw, same thing. 1, Blue, 1, Green. Close Quarters, 2, Exhaustion. Use when an adjacent figure is defeated to interrupt to perform an attack using that figure's attack type and attack pool. The attack gains surge plus two accuracy plus one damage. Duck and weave while defending. If you are adjacent to a hostile figure other than the attacker, apply plus one uh, cancel to the defense results. Now the wounded side... Health 12, Endurance 4, Speed 3, Defense of 1, Black Die. Punch of 1, Blue, 1, Red. Eyeball, 1, Blue, 1, Red. Robot Claw, 1, Blue, 1, Red. Someday I'll look those up. <laughs> Long after you've seen this. Uh, close Quarters. 2, Exhaustion. When, use when an adjacent hostile figure is defeated to interrupt to perform an attack using that figure's attack type and attack pool. The attack gains surge of plus two accuracy, plus one damage. So the, the characters look pretty good. Uh, let's look at our little cards here. There's a, quite a stack of these, so this is going to take a little while. Alright, let's start with the character specific cards. For the Alliance, because we just looked at their big cards. And we'll start with her deck first, since she's on top. Alright, this is the Bernatalos deck. We have uh, Military Blaster. Attack of uh, one blue, one yellow. Uh, blaster Pistol. Um... Two surge is plus two damage. One surge plus one accuracy. Pierce one. When sold, this item is worth 25 credits. Fighting knife. Uh, attack of one red die. Blade plus one damage. Uh, surge pierce two. When sold, this item is worth 25 credits. Combat momentum. One exhaustion. Use when an adjacent hostile figure is defeated to gain two movement points. Uh, when you use close quarters, you could move up to one space before performing an attack. Create opening. One exhaustion. Exhaust this card. While a hostile figure is adjacent to you is defending to apply negative one defense or negative one cancel to the defense results. Uh, Katara movement. This one only costs, this one costs 2 XP, the others were 1, I believe. Alright, uh, tap, move up to 2 spaces, to a space containing a small hostile figure, and push that figure 1 space, then perform an attack with a blaster weapon. Student of Battle, 2 XP, when you perform an attack using close quarters, the attack gains Surge Pierce 2, Surge Recover 2 damage, Surge plus 5 accuracy. Alright, that's pretty good. Point blank shot, 3 XP. When you declare an attack with a pistol, targeting an adjacent figure, you may replace one die in the attack pool with a red die. Apply Pierce 1 to the attack results. Improvised cover. When defending, if you are adjacent to a hostile figure other than the attacker, apply plus 1 defense to your defense results, and that hostile figure suffers 1 damage. Master Operative. Apply plus one endurance to your hero. Exhaust this card when you declare an attack using close quarters to become focused. That one costs four. Uh, Combat Mastery. Four XP. Um, tap one exhaustion. Perform two attacks. One with a sword or melee weapon and one with a blaster or pistol weapon. Each attack must have a different target. All right. Now let's look at our android friend and his deck. 
which is also pretty healthy. First card, Combat Override. 4 XP to Exhaust. Exhaust this card during your activation to search the supply deck for an explosive card and gain that card. Then shuffle the supply deck. Uh, ex uh, exhaust twice. Exhaust this card to perform three attacks and suffer three damage. Bacta Radiator. At the start of each uh, this one costs f or this is four XP. At the start of each round, each friendly figure within two spaces recovers one exhaustion and one damage for each of your activation tokens. Adrenal Vapor, 3 XP, 2 Exhaustion. Use when another friendly figure within two spaces declares an attack. Add one yellow die to the attack pool. The attack gains Surge Recover 1 damage. Miracle Worker, 3 XP. Deplete this card when another hero within four spaces of you has suffered damage equal to his health. Instead of being defeated, that hero recovers three health. That's nice. Fuel Injection, 2 XP. Apply plus one speed to your hero. One Exhaustion exhausts this card when an attack targeting another friendly figure within four spaces resolves. You may interrupt to move up to two spaces. Field Surgeon, 2 XP. Your attacks gain um, exa uh, Surge. Exhaust this card and choose an adjacent friendly figure. That figure recovers 2 health. After another hero is defeated, you may interrupt to perform an attack targeting the figure who defeated that hero. Improper Procedure, 1 XP. Uh, 1 Exhaustion. Exhaust this card during your activation and choose an adjacent hostile figure. That figure suffers one damage and becomes weakened. Back to Injector. One XP. One, exha one Exhaustion. Exhaust this card during your activation and choose an adjacent friendly figure. That figure recovers one damage or discards one harmful condition. And lastly, Sidearm Blaster. Blaster Pistol. Uh... A blaster attack of uh, one blue, one yellow, surge of stun, or surge of pierce one. Standard issue for a reason. All right, now let's look at the uh, calamari guys deck, which is looks a little bit smaller, maybe. All right, he's got Mon Calamari Special Forces, four XP, plus one cancel, plus one accuracy. Exhaust this card when a hostile figure. With a recon token is defeated to recover two exhaustion or become focused. Coordinated attack four XP to exhaustion. Exhaust this card when an attacking when blah exa, exhaust this card when an attack targeting a figure with a recon token is declared to add one die to your of your choice to the attack pool. Study of enemies. Apply plus two health to your hero. Uh, your attacks gain. Surge. Exhaust this card to place a recon token on a hostile figure within two spaces of the target. Three XP. Scout's Guidance. Three XP. Two Exhaustion. Use during your activation to place one recon token on another friendly figure. When a friendly figure with a recon token is defending, Apply a plus one cancel to the defense results. Overwatch. Tap, place a recon token on this card. When a hostile figure declares a move or attack, you may discard a recon token from this card to interrupt to perform an attack targeting that figure. Apply a plus one surge to the attack results. 2 XP. Spectrum Scanner. Sights. 2 XP. Exhaust this card when a figure with a recon token is defeated to place one recon token on another figure in the same group. Combat Spotter, 1 XP. When performing Set Your Sights, you may ignore figures when determining line of sight. Friendly figures may ignore figures when determining line of sight to a figure with a recon token. Scouting Report, 1 XP. 
One exhaustion. Exhaust this card at the start of your activation. Start or end. I'm sorry, let me start over. One exhaustion. Exhaust this card at the start or end of your activation to place a recon token on a crate. When a hero can interact with that crate during his activation without using an activation. All weather rifle. Uh, projectile rifle. Attack blaster of green and blue. Plus one accuracy. Surge weaken. Surge pierce one. Pretty cool. Alright, let's look at some more cards here. Flip these over since we've done these. Alright, there's quite a few cards to go here. If you don't want these spoiling anything, you should probably not be watching this. Alright, let me divide these up into the stacks first so this will be a little easier. Alright. We've got some with an ATST pictured on them. We're going to do those first. Explosive munitions. Exhaust, exhaust this card when an Imperial figure declares a blaster attack. You may replace one die in the attack pool with one red die, and the attack gains blast one da plus one damage. Armored Onslaught. Uh, armor Core. While defending Imperial Troopers adjacent to a friendly droid, heavy weapons, or vehicle may re-roll one defense die. It's only one XP. Automated repairs, one XP. Attachment, heavy weapon, droid, or vehicle only. Surge, exhaust this card to recover two damage. Uh, tap, exhaust this card to recover one damage. Explosive entry, two XP. Armored onslaught. Exhaust this card when you deploy a figure to roll one green die. Each rebel figure adjacent to that figure suffers damage equal to the damage results and becomes weakened. Heavy Firepower, 2 XP. Exhaust this card when an Imperial figure declares a blaster attack. You may remove one red die from the attack pool to apply three, plus three damage to the attack results. That's pretty good. Mortar. Exhaust this card during an Imperial Figures activation card. So, let me start over. I'm sorry, I'm reading a lot here. Exhaust this card during an Imperial Figures activation. That figure gains tap, choose a space within three spaces, and roll one red die. Each figure and object on or adjacent to that space suffers damage equal to the damage results. 3 XP. Reactive Armor, 3 XP. Attachment, Droid or Vehicle only, plus 2 health. While defending, if you roll an Cancel Surge, uh, result on a black die, apply plus 2 defense to the defense results. Power to Shields, exhaust this card while an Imperial figure is defending and choose one of the following keywords. Pierce, Blast, Cleave, or any condition word keyword. During this attack, the chosen keyword has no effect. Then you may pay one Imperial symbol to ready this card for XP. Rapid Dominance. Two Imperial symbol thing. Exhaust this card during a heavy weapon or vehicle figure activation. That figure may perform an additional action. Three Imperial symbol thingy. Deplete this card to ready one heavy weapon or vehicle deployment card. Alright, let's get into the Snow Trooper deck and see what we've got there. Strike Force Attachment. While attacking, you may reroll one attack die. Pinpoint Accuracy. 1 XP. Deplete this card while an Imperial figure is attacking to apply negative one dodge to the defense results. Sharpshooters, one XP. While an Imperial figure is attacking, apply a plus one accuracy to the attack results. Knowledge of the attack, two XP. Exhaust this card while an Imperial figure is defending to apply negative one surge to the attack results. Versatile attack, two XP. One Imperial symbol thing, 
Exhaust this card when an Imperial figure declares an attack to add one yellow die to the attack pool. This attack gains Surge of Weaken, Surge plus one damage, Surge Pierce two. Exacting Strike, two Imperial symbols. Exhaust this card when an Imperial figure declares an attack to remove one die from the target's defense pool, three XP. Assassin's Attachment, uh, 3 XP. Figures do not block your line of sight for your attacks. Exhaust this card while attacking to reroll any number of attack dice. Find the Weakness. When an Imperial figure is attacking, apply Pierce 1 to the attack results. 4 XP. Single Minded, 4 XP. Precision Training. Exhaust this card when an Imperial figure Rerolls an attack die. Instead of rerolling that attack die, change that die's result to another result of your choice on that die. One Imperial symbol thingy, ready this card. Alright, now on to these, these cards here. Weakened, harmful. When attacking, while attacking, apply negative one surge to the attack results. While defending, apply negative one cancels to the defense results. Discard this condition at the end of your activation. All right, next condition card, weakened, harmful. While attacking, apply negative one surge to the attack results. While defending, apply negative one cancel to the defense results. Discard this condition at the end of your activation. Weakened, harmful, while attacking, eh, they're the same thing. So there's four of those total all right let's get to the condi let's go to the uh, command cards size advantage to any large figure tap perform an attack targeting a small figure apply plus two damage to the attack results and the attack gains weaken survival instincts creature use at the start of your activation until the end of the round, apply plus one defense and plus one cancel to your defense results. Negoti uh, negation. A negation one. Uh, use after your opponent plays a command card with a cost of zero. Discard that card and cancel its effects. Overcharged weapons. Any ready vehicle. Cost zero. Uh, use when a hostile figure activates to interrupt to perform an attack targeting that figure. The attack gains pierce 2, then exhaust your deployment card and become weakened. Harsh Environment, 0. Uh, use at the start of a round until the end of the round. Figures on exterior spaces apply negative 1 cancel to their defense results, and figures not on exterior spaces apply plus 1 defense to their defense results. Set a trap. Zero. Use at the start of a round and choose a map tile. At the end of the round, choose one of your figures on that tile to interrupt to perform an attack targeting a hostile figure on that tile. Miracle Worker. Uh, Alliance MHD-19. Two. Use when a friendly figure within three spaces of you has suffered damage equal to its health. Instead of being defeated, it recovers three damage. Master Operator, Operative, uh, Alliance Virna Talos. Use when you declare co close quarters, you become focused, apply plus one surge to the attack results. Coordinated Attack, Loku Kinola, whatever his name is, the fish guy. Uh, tap two, you and a friendly figure within three spaces may each perform an attack Targeting the same figure. Figures do not block line of sight for these attacks. Alright. Next stack. These are item cards. And we'll look at the ones first. We have... Under Barrel HH4. Modification Barrel Blaster. Plus one accuracy. Surge Blast one damage. 300 credits. Vibro knife. Attack of melee 2 green. Blade. 
Surge Bleed, Surge plus one damage, Surge Pierce two. 150 credits. Uh, DDC Defender, uh, Blaster, one green, one yellow, Blaster Pistol. Surge plus one damage, Surge plus one accuracy weaken. Tap twice, perform three attacks with this weapon. 550 credits. Well, let's look at the number twos. There's three of these as well. Cybernetic Arm, Medical Enhancement. Negative two health, plus one endurance. Once assigned to a hero, this item cannot be traded or sold. You must bring this item to each mission. 350 credits. Stun Baton. A melee attack, one uh, blue, one red. It's a staff. Uh, surge of stun. Surge plus two damage. One exhaustion. Choose an adjacent hostile figure. That figure becomes weakened. 500 credits. Environmental Hazard Suit. Armor. When you perform a rest, you recover one additional damage. Deplete this card to recover five damage or remove all harmful conditions. 600 credits. Let's look at the level threes. Concussion Grenades. Consumable Explo Explosive. Tap, deplete this card to choose a space within three spaces and roll one green die. Each figure and object on or adjacent to the chosen space suffers damage equal to the damage results and becomes stunned. 400 credits. Uh, Vibro Generator, Modification Energy. Use when you declare an attack to apply negative two stun and plus two damage to the attack results. 350 credits. Valken 38 Carbine, attack of 2 blue, 1 red. Uh, this is a blaster rifle. Stun of plus 2 damage, stun plus 2 accuracy. Tap twice, become focused, and perform an attack. Figures do not block line of sight for this attack. 1,250 credits. You can see Dengar on there, so it's probably his. Alright, let's look at the little crates. There's four of these. We have Artificial Stimulants, Consumable Medical. When you suffer exhaustion, place that exhaustion on this card instead of your hero sheet. Discard this card when it has four or more exhaustion. During your activation, an adjacent hero may claim this card. Grappling Hook, Tool. Discard this card during your activation to place a figure in an empty space within three spaces. Weapons Cache, Tool. Place this card in your play area with four damage tokens on it. When you or an adjacent friendly figure declares an attack, discard one token from this card to apply plus one damage to the attack results. Power Generator, Consumable Energy. Discard this card and create... Sorry, discard this card and a crate token in your play area while, apply, while attacking. Apply plus two damage and pierce two to the attack results. Alright, let's look at the rewards. Supply Disruption. Reward Bane. After setup of each mission, remove one crate from the map. That sucks. Networks Restored. Reward Boon. Return this card to the game box during a Rebel Upgrade stage to search one item deck listed in the campaign log for this stage for one card of your choice and add it to the available items. The first item you buy during this Rebel Upgrade stage costs 100 fewer credits per hero. Weary from Toil, Reward Bane. At the start of the first round of each mission, each hero suffers one exhaustion for each activation token in his play area. Well, that stinks. Invigorated by success. Reward boon. Return this card to the game box at the start of the round during any mission uh, to choose two heroes to recover exhaustion equal to their endurance. Distractions. Reward bane. During setup of each mission, choose one hero and place this card in that hero's play area. The first time that hero activates, he receives only one action. Then, return this card to the Imperial player's play area. 
Strategy executed. Reward boon. Return this card to the game box after a figure resolves an activation during any mission to ready one activation token or rebel deployment card. Constant advantage. Reward bane. At the end of each mission, if the Imperial player received fewer than three influence, the Imperial player receives one additional influence. Resurgence. Reward boon. Return this card to the game box when you bring an ally to a mission to reduce that ally's deployment cost by 5. System upgrade. Enhancement. Plus 2 health. Uh, deplete this card during your uh, activation to search the supply deck for a medical card and gain that card. Then shuffle the supply deck. Iron hand reward. At the end of your activation, recover... One exhaustion for each adjacent hostile figure to a maximum of three. Battle vision reward. Uh, while a friendly figure is attacking a figure adjacent to a figure with a recon token, apply a plus one damage to the attack results. Alright, that's pretty cool. That is all the little cards. So let's get these out of the way. And let's look at the other stack of cards, which is almost as equally large. Almost. Alright, let's separate these out. There's a lot of cards here. Alright, let's start with the uh, skirmish cards here, because uh, these are probably more interesting. Alright, we have two sets of A and B here uh, for the Hoth Battlefield and Echo Base. We'll start with the Hoth Battlefield. Uh, Blood on the Snow, four player free for all. Doors are locked, open all doors at the end of the first round. End of each round, each player scores 5 VPs for each terminal he controls in an oppo opponent's deployment zone. B. A battle for Hoth. Hoth Battlefield. Four player team battle. Doors are locked. Open all doors at the end of the first round. End of each round, each player scores 5 VPs for each terminal he controls in an opponent's deployment zone. A. Safe and Sound Echo Base. A figure can retrieve uh, the Bacta Infuser. While a figure is carrying the Bacta Infuser, its opponent cannot win, and the game does not end if its opponent reaches 40 VPs. If a figure carrying the Bacta Infuser suffers three or more damage, uh, it drops a, the Bacta Infuser in its space. Doors are locked. A figure can attack a door, health 7, defense 1. Each end of each round, each player gains 3 VPs for each terminal and deployment zone he controls. Rapid Adaptation Echo Base A small figure can interact with a Tauntaun to ride it. A figure can ride only one Tauntaun. A figure riding a Tauntaun follows all the rules as if it were carrying that Tauntaun. That would be heavy. Apply plus 2 speed to a figure riding a Tauntaun. If a figure riding a Tauntaun suffers three or more damage from a single attack, it is no longer riding that Tauntaun. Although it probably smells delicious around there. End of each round. Each figure riding a Tauntaun gains two VPs. The player who controls the medical bay gains five VPs. Alright. Now we're going to look at this pile here. This is the tan looking stack. There's uh, only four cards here. Escape from Cloud City, Bespin Facility, Side Mission, Escape from Cloud City, page 14, Return to Hoth. While this card is in play, the Imperial player claims the Supply Disruption Reward card. Uh, survival of the Fittest, Side Mission, Survival of the Fittest, page 15. While this card is in play, the Imperial... Oh, I didn't read the reward on this other one. It was Network's Restored Reward card. Uh, survival of the Fittest, Side Mission, Survival of the Fist, page 15. While this card is at play, the Imperial player claims the Weary from Toil reward card. 
Uh, reward, Invigorated by Success reward card. The Hard Way, Ward Mantel Outskirts. Side mission, The Hard Way. Uh, while this card is in play, the Imperial player draws claims the Distractions reward card. Reward Strategy Executed Reward Card. Securing the Homestead. Side mission. Oh, sorry. Scouring the Homestead. Uh, while this card is in play, the Imperial player claims the Constant Advantage Reward Card. Reward Resurgence Reward Card. Alright, we'll look at our planet deck here. Uh, I believe these are the campaign cards. Uh, side mission, Know Your Enemy, Reward Iron Hand Reward Card. Constant Vigilance, Side Mission, Constant vil vil Vigilance, Reward Battle Vision Reward Card. Preventative Measures, Side Mission, Preventative Measures, page 27. Reward System Upgrades Reward Card. Alright, now we'll look at the greenish deck specific to this one. This is, uh, looks like eight cards. White Noise, Story Mission, White Noise, page 18. Home Front, Story Mission, Home Front. Return to Echo Base, Story Mission, Return to Echo Base. One Step Behind, Story Mission, One Step Behind. Rescue Ops, Story Mission, Rescue Ops. I'm not reading the flavor text because I don't want to ruin anything. Um, you might be able to read them on the screen, but I doubt it. My camera's not that good. The Last Line, Story Mission, The Last Line, page 32. Disaster, Story Mission, Disaster, page 34. And Our Last Hope, Story Mission, Our Last Hope, page 36. All right. Next, we'll look at some equipment cards here. We got Targeting Computer, one point. Skirmish Upgrade, Attachment, Vehicle, Droid, or Heavy Weapon Only. While attacking, figures in this group may... Sorry, while attacking, figures in this group may re-roll one attack die. And there's another one of those. Alright, let's look at our uh, character cards here for the Alliance. We have Leah Organa, uh, campaign version, um, plus one, cancel surge, um, surge... Uh, yeah, Surge of plus 2 damage, Surge recover 2 damage, Surge plus 3 accuracy, Tap Battlefield Leadership, Perform an attack, then choose a friendly figure within 3 spaces. That figure may interrupt to perform an attack with the same target. Uh, surge Aggressive Negotiations, choose and exhaust 1 Imperial Class card. Health 8, Speed 5, Defense 1 White Dice, Attack 1. Uh, one blue, two yellow. Uh, Leo Organa, Skirmish, Rebel Commander, Leader Spy, eight points. Uh, stats are the same. Uh, and the text, uh, the text section is the only thing that's different from the look of it. So we have tap battlefield leadership, perform an attack, then choose a friendly figure within three spaces. That figure may interrupt to perform an attack with the same target. Surge Military Efficiency, choose one command card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your command deck. Alright, now we have Echo Base Trooper, cost of 6 uh, slash 3, whatever that is. Um, surge plus 1 damage, Surge plus 2 accuracy, Frontline while attacking, if the target is within 3 spaces of you, you may replace 1 blue die in your attack attack pool with one red die efficient travel you ignore additional movement points cost for difficult terrain and, and hostile figures health 5 speed 4 defense 1 black die attack 1 blue 1 green I'm not sure what that 3 is up here but I'm sure you know if you're playing uh, MHD 19 droid alliance 5 um Surge Focus, Surge plus one damage, Surge Recover two damage. Tap Medical Loadout, you or an adjacent friendly figure recovers three damage. Tap Improper Procedure, choose an adjacent hostile fi figure. That figure suffers one damage and becomes weakened. Health seven, Speed four, 
defense of one black, attack one blue, one yellow. Verena Talos, spy, brawler. Plus one cancel surge. Uh, surge of plus two damage. Surge pierce one. Tap close quarters. Perform an attack targeting an adjacent hostile figure using that figure's attack type and attack pool. Surge fighting knife. When this attack resolves, perform an additional melee attack using one red die. Apply plus one damage to the attack results. Limit once per round. Health 11, speed 4, defense 1 black die, attack 1 blue, 1 green. Loku Canola, the fish guys, uh, cost 4, plus 2 accuracy, surge plus 1 damage, surge pierce 1, tap twice, set your sights, perform an attack, figures do not block line of sight for this attack, apply plus 2 accuracy to the attack results. Mon Calamari. Moncala Special Forces, Calamari, sorry, he's a fish. When you defeat a figure while using Set Your Sights, you become focused. Health 4, Speed 5, Defense 1 White, Attack of 1 Blue, 1 Red. Alright, let's look at the uh, Mercenary deck. HK Assassin Droid, 8 slash 4, Droid Hunter. Surge of Weaken, Surge plus one damage, P Surge Pierce one. Versatile Weaponry, while attacking you may force the defender to reroll one defense die. Targeting Computer, while attacking you may reroll one attack die. Health five, Speed four, Defense one black, Attack of two blue and one yellow. Alright, HK Assassin Droid. Uh, this one is in red. Um, Droid Hunter, 11-6. Surge Weaken, Surge plus one damage. Surge plus one uh, damage, Surge Pierce one. Versatile Weaponry, while attacking you may force the defender to reroll one defense die. Targeting Computer, while attacking you may reroll one attack die. Priority Targeting. Figures do not block line of sight for your attacks. Health 6, speed 4, defense of 1 black, attack 2 blue, 1 yellow. Wampa, creature brawler. This is the gray card. Cost 5. Plus 1 damage. Uh, surge of stun, surge cleave 2 damage. Uh, habitat, snow. Efficient travel. You ignore additional movement points cost for difficult terrain and hostile figures. Hunger. At the start of your activation, if there are no hostile figures within three spaces, gain two movement points. Non-sentient. You cannot interact. Health of nine, speed three, defense of one black die, attack of melee two red. Uh, as you may have noticed, a lot of these have the little symbol in the bottom here where it um, indicates what set it's from. So that does make it easier. Alright, we have the red Wampa card, which is cost of 8. Plus 2 uh, damage. Surge of Bleed Stun. Surge Cleave 3 damage. Habitat Snow. Efficient Travel. You ignore additional movement points cost for difficult terrain and hostile figures. Hunger at the start of your activation. If there are no hostile figures within three spaces, gain two movement points. Non-sentient, you cannot interact. Health of 12, speed of 3. Uh, defense, one black die. Attack, uh, melee, two red die. Dengar, red border, uh, seven points. Hunter, ruthless killer. Plus two accuracy. Surge, plus two damage. Contempt. While attacking, if the target does not have a harmful condition, apply plus one surge to the attack results. Surge Punishment. After the attack resolves, if the target suffered one or more damage, choose one harmful condition. The target gains that condition. This ability can be triggered multiple times in the same attack. Health 8, Speed 4, Defense 1 Black Die, Attack of 1 Green, 1 Yellow. 
All right, let's look at the Imperials. All right, let's start with the Gray Snow Trooper card, 7 slash 2. Uh, Surge Weaken, Surge Pierce 1, Surge Plus 2 Accuracy. Tap Environmental Recovery Gear. You and each adjacent friendly trooper may either recover one damage or discard one harmful condition. Health 4, Speed 4, Defense 1 Black. Attack 1 Blue, 1 Green. Now we'll look at the red version. Snow Trooper 10 slash 3. Surge Pierce 2. Surge plus 3 Accuracy. Surge Focus Weaken. Uh, tap Environmental Recovery Gear. You and each additional adjacent friendly trooper may either recover one damage or discard one harmful condition. Efficient Travel. You may ignore additional movement points costs for difficult and hostile figures. Difficult terrain and hostile figures. Health 6, speed 4, defense of 1 black die, attack of 1 blue, 1 green. Alright, now we have uh, two red cards. We've got the SC2M Repulsor Tank Vehicle. Massive, plus 2 accuracy, surge, plus 2 damage, surge blast, 1 damage. Double tap, focus fire, perform 2 attacks targeting the same figure. Defensible, while defending, you may apply either plus one damage or plus one cancel to your defense results. Health 10, speed 4, defense of one black die, attack of one blue, one red, one yellow. General Soren, vicious tactician, leader. Surge, plus one damage. Uh, surge stun, surge focus. Tap bombardment. Choose an adjacent friendly figure. That figure may interrupt to perform an attack. The attack gains blast one damage. Uh, advanced firepower. Uh, adjacent friendly droids and vehicles can use your surge abilities. Wow. Health 7, speed 4, defense 1 black die. Attack of 1 blue, 1 yellow. Looks pretty good. Alright, last deck. We have Exposed to the Elements. Keep this card secret. Play it during any mission at the start of a round. Each hero on a desert or snow space tests some punch symbol. Each figure who s fails suffers two exhaustion and becomes weakened. Then either discard this card or shuffle it back into your agenda deck. One influence. Next agenda card. Uh, place this card in your play area. Uh, this one is two influence. Uh, place this card in your play area. Deplete this card after you deploy a creature during an optional deployment. That figure may interrupt to perform a move, then choose a hostile figure adjacent to that creature. That figure suffers one damage. Bestial Fury, one influence. Keep this card secret. Play it during any mission at the end of a round. Choose a creature. That figure may perform an attack. Apply one, plus one surge to the attack results. Then the attacker becomes bleeding and weakened. Then either discard this card or shuffle it back into your agenda deck. Enhanced Armor, one influence. Keep this card secret. During any mission, you may play this card when you deploy a non-creature, non-vehicle group. While figures in this group are defending, reduce the pierce value of an attack result by one to a minimum of zero. Uh, discard this card at the end of the mi this mission when or when all figures in this group are defeated. Personal Shield Generators, two influence. Place this card in your play area. Deplete this card when an attack targeting an Imperial figure is declared to, to apply plus three defense to the defense results. Counter-Strike, one influence. Keep this card secret. During any mission, you may spend one influence to play this card while an Imperial figure is defending. Apply plus one defense, plus one cancel to the defense results. After the attack resolves, if the target did not suffer any damage, the attacker suffers three damage. Then either discard this card or shuffle it back into your agenda deck. All right, and that is all of the cards. All right, and that is everything for the uh, Imperial Assault Return to Hoth box set expansion for Imperial Assault. 
And that's going to do it for this episode. We've seen everything there is. Thanks again to Wyatt for letting me look at all this stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.